it is education side. But education. I'll, I'll, I'll what does that even? What does that mean to you? Um, resources, learning how to work, learning how um, to um, move around a professional workforce. Um, you need to go to that, college to learn that. Yes. Yes, I'd say I so. I think you're being you're being scammed, man. I don't Take it from someone who didn't go to college. You don't need any of that stuff. Yeah. You What's up, YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today, guys, we're back giving a new video. Today, we're going to check it out. Charlie Cook crushes Terry Smog college students. Best the beats compilation. Okay, I call Charlie Kick because of kicking us. Let's get right to today's video. I saw some people with the shirt that says school, college is a scam. It's, a, it's quite the, the statement, and could you elaborate a little bit more on that? Do you believe college is, is a scam? Yeah, uh, half this audience, uh, if you guys get a job, will end up getting a job that doesn't require a college degree. Okay. Then, so they, we get a job that requires a college degree. So, yeah, so any business that has a 50% rate of a customer being scammed will be shut down by the federal government for disenfranchising their customers. You went to Chili's, like, hey, 50% chance that our fries are going to give you food poisoning. So if you look at college more than just getting a job, but more as a educating the population, would you say that's a scam? Well, it depends on what you think college is and what it's become. Secondly, 41% of people that enter college don't graduate. The dropout rate's insanely true. high. That's true. Third, I mean, what exactly is being taught here? It's a great question. I mean, are you learning about the beauty of Western civilization and reading the Federalist Papers of Hamilton and Madison and Jay? And do you get a positive view of America or do you spend time on postmodernism of Michel Foucault and Jacques Derrida and Gene Stefanik and Derek Bell? I'd uh, say more networking. Oh, networking. Yeah. Okay. So hey, wait, 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 before we go dive deep into it, what's your definition of a scam? Uh, where a, a serious proportion of your customers are not given the value proposition that they pay for. Education, right. Which they're not getting. Yeah. You're saying, so therefore... In well, that's the question. You come here to get right. educated, you guys are going from the wrong thing. This is just a glorified credentialing exercise. Yeah, and that's what you're paying for, but therefore it's oh, not... Oh, okay, so, uh, so we're not, it's not education. You're just paying for a piece of paper so you can get a job. And education, I mean... Oh, is it education? So are, are you, It is education, sorry. But education, I'll, I'll, I'll what, does that even, what does that mean to you? Um, resources, learning how to work, learning how um, to... Um, move around a professional workforce. Um, you need to go to that, college to learn that? Yes, yes, I'd say I, I so. I think you're being, you're being scammed, man. I don't, Take it from someone who didn't go to college, you don't need any of that stuff. Yeah, you would, need, you, would you say a doctor would need a college degree? Well, of course, but that, the vast majority of kids here aren't studied to go to, to become a doctor. How many engineers are in here? Yeah, okay, so how many people that are studying so, social or liberal sciences? Social sciences. Yeah, fair amount. Okay, okay. it's a personal choice. Therefore, the vast majority of kids that go to college are social sciences, psychology, communications. Mm -hmm. About only 18 to 20 percent are studying engineering. And you say they shouldn't go to college. Well, it all depends. Again, it depends on what you're studying, exactly. why you're there. But you don't. Uh, this idea that engineering, you need a four-year degree. You could also just learn to code in six months and work for Salesforce and earn 180,000 dollars a year. Yeah, exactly. It's, uh, it's yes, it is true. They, 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 coding's hard, Charlie. You have to go to college to learn to code. Okay, that's my point. I'm not saying it's easy. You just need to go to college. Secondly, what does a manager of a Walmart, a Walmart supercenter, make a year? Anybody know? What? Four hundred thousand dollars a year. Four hundred thousand. Yeah, they don't require. Yeah, you guys should just go become a manager of a Walmart. It doesn't require a college degree. What does the average plumber make in Scottsdale, Arizona? Hundred fifteen thousand dollars a year. What does the average HVAC technician make in Henderson, Nevada? Seventy five thousand dollars a year. But those don't require college degrees. There are eleven million job openings in this country right now that don't require college degrees. We are oversupplying college. But yeah, you're here taking advantage of college and college students. Am I taking advantage? Is that what I'm doing? You're taking advantage of the space, of taking advantage of the students, not in a way of like, yeah, intellectually I mean, taking advantage. It, it's, it's, um, like, it's like going to a place to tell people you're being scammed. If you call that taking advantage, then so be it. Yeah, I, I mean, you're taking advantage as you're taking my time, you're taking everyone's time, well, and you're you're, and you're, you're you're volunteering your time it, too. It, it, I, I didn't wait, force uh, you. Okay, yeah. sorry. Yeah, we're we're you're taking okay. our time. We're we're, we're investing enough. our I, time. I, I do this also in other places than campuses too. So. Yeah, no, but but then you're here, and then you're saying college is a scam. It is. Uh, Half I, of you I, guys I, will end up getting a job where your entire college debt burden means nothing. True. You will get a job that does not require a college degree at all. You're four years wasted. You shouldn't have come here in the first place. Half. Yeah, well. I disagree with you, and All right, well, that's fair. I cool. hope you. I hope it's worth Have it. Have a wonderful I hope, day. All right, thank you. You dropped out of college. 
And well, your highest? Community college. Mm, sorry, your Harper College experience. Yeah, I apologize. Barely was smart enough to make it through community college. Okay, so. Barely made it through high school, Your too. highest degree level is an honorary doctor's degree from Liberty University. No, that's true. I do have an honorary PhD. Yeah. So essentially, what are your qualifications for arguing that college is a scam or really any having any economical knowledge at all when likely the vast majority of the students here know more than you about economics as a whole? Okay, so, uh, no, hold on. It's okay, guys. It's okay. Uh, who's Milton Friedman? Who is Milton Friedman? I have no idea, and it's not important to this conversation. Who, who is Ludwig von Mises? Mm, these are all probably economists, and they're the same, yeah. the same who thing. Who is John Maynard Keynes? That, okay, obviously I know who Keynes is. Oh, obviously, yeah. He's the most famous economist of all well, time. You don't know Milton Friedman? I mean, that's an economist. Okay, how about Murray Rothbard? That's another economist. F.A. Hayek? I don't know who that is. Well, then you just came here and insulted my intelligence. For, you're right, I barely made it through community college because I was too busy, I don't know, starting a national youth movement with hundreds of thousands of members. Hey, hold on, though. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Employing hundreds of people, raising hundreds of millions of dollars, yes. having a top 10 most popular podcast, sure. and reaching tens of millions of people online every day. Sure, but, hold on. but you're also what calling all of your constituents idiots no, by I've saying they participate that, in a scam. They, you, their hold shirts on a right there. I'm College calling is a the scam. institution a scam. So then, I never why, insulted okay, the so intelligence. Then, I just so had then, 10 people come up and we had warm conversations. So you asked, what are my qualifications? I'm a job creator, entrepreneur, autodidact. Do you know what that word means? Self-taught. Mm. Yeah, uh, self-taught. You know, you should probably learn that word if you're oh, gonna come okay, up and okay. insult other people's intelligence. Hey, hey, hey. So autodidacticism is what Leonardo da Vinci was. You don't have to go to college to be wise. You don't have to go to college to be intelligent. I read 100 books a year. I visit over 150 hey, colleges. I'm not saying hey, you're unintelligent. I, I'm, just, I'm last, just saying you lack qualifications. Question. Well. Are you a New York Times bestseller? Of course not, I'm in okay, college. Got it, so I'm just trying, what are my qualifications? I have published books, read lots of books, dialogued a lot of people, and instead of asking what my qualifications are, yet can you name one thing I've ever wrong. said? That, hold on, name one thing I'm wrong about. You literally just, you just now incorrectly cited the difference between socialism and communism. While you H how yourself, so? what did I how do? so? You claimed that Russia was socialist. Russia oh, was the never Soviet socialist. Union was socialist. So no, it was a communist nation. There is a significant difference well, between why, the two. Why did Lenin say that socialism is the gateway to communism? And he was self-described uh, uh, socialist Lenin, in his private Lenin, treatise and documents in the Russian Revolution. Lenin before was he overtaken over by Stalin. Capital. Hold on a second. No, so, Lenin died, and then Stalin was his successor. Yes. So, but Lenin himself said, "Quote." That socialism is the introductory phase to communism. Did okay, he not say so that? Okay, so then the vast majority of people when they're referring to communist Russia are referring to Stalin's rule over Russia. That was a communist rule that turned into a fascist rule later on. Okay, so but what 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 thinker was deified in Soviet Russia? That what had, thinker was deified? Yeah, what, yes. Marx. Oh, and, and what, what, what book did Marx write? Yes, he wrote Capital, which and he also wrote the, the, communist, know, the communist Manifesto. manifesto. Who was his co-author? Who was co-author? Angles. Yeah, angles. angles. Good. I'm glad college is really paying off for you. Hey. So, um, so no, hey. but it's okay. It's fine. He comes up here and insults my intelligence. What are your qualifications? Doesn't even know the co-author of the Communist Manifesto or Das Kapital. But no, let me just again, so again. I, I, but I, does but, my lack of knowledge on that mean that I have no, no knowledge again? Up, you is came that up the same here thing? And insulted me, and you, you came up here, guns a blazing, man. And let me just ask again. What did I say that was wrong? I said that. Under the generally agreed upon definition of communism and socialism, which are interchangeable terms, one is a more harsh degree of the other, is that the elimination of the family, the elimination of private property, and the deprivation of basic human rights, such as right to speech, right to assembly, and right to worship, how is that not a good definition of communism or socialism? Because that explains the fascism better. Well, but... In the Communist Manifesto, Marx said, quote, we are here to destroy the nuclear family and eradicate the family because it was the original oppressive, tyrannical structure. He said religion is the opiate of the masses and that private property must be eradicated. I have just now documented all three of those with evidence back to original source documents. And then in practice, Russia did all those three things when they were the Soviet Union. So but, where am I but wrong? Then, but, then he, but then at the same time, if you claim that those are all negative things, then why do you practice certain things in, those, in the doctrines that you just stated? Well, I, I'm not trying to take people's stuff away. Mm. Nor, I want people to have bigger families, and I want churches to remain open. Yeah, but the thing is, so is your main no, but your main your biggest thing, your biggest point that everyone here is for is that you're a potential white supremacist. So, 
I, what evidence do you have that I'm a racist? I was just literally watching a video of you talk about how talking about whiteness as a whole, wh talking about whiteness as a concept, okay? And you were trying to explain how white privilege doesn't exist. Correct, it doesn't. You are a white man. How do you know? Uh, because I have eyes. Because you have eyes. That's and not I a description. Reason. So what can a black person do that I can't do in America? Or what can a black versa? person do? What can I so do a black person can't do? I let's say. think of some history right here. Let's go no, no, to no, the no, history no, of no, redlining. I, I don't need a history. I don't have yes, listen. No, no, you're talking about you white privilege. You do need a history lining. Clearly, no, I, you need I, a history I know you're lesson. talking points better than you do, and I've read all those li the literature that you have. I've, I've probably forgotten history more about the literature. The history affects the present day as well, and you know that's true. If you went to college, you would know. Well, hold on a second. But well, let, let me let me. So, so then, why are you wearing the college of the scam shirt? Drop out. Well. Well, because you could. You so could, it's because you don't believe your own beliefs, and that's what I'm well, saying. Well, you, you can admit something's a scam and still get through it. That's why he's wearing it. Okay. You well, could be, then you why? Could, you could feel like you're getting ripped off by an airline but and anyways, still want to get to New York. That's not what we're talking okay? about anymore. Like you could still, you could, you're like, I'm getting ripped off about a thousand dollar ticket, but you still get on the airplane. True. Like it doesn't make you a hypocrite. It means that the people are yeah. ripping you off, and a lot of you are getting ripped off. But no. So as far as white privilege, just with, without the history lesson of you know Jim Crow, segregation, imperialism, colonialism, slavery, all the stuff that I know that you're gonna say, but just in concretely in America today, what can a white person do that a black person can't do? Black applicants to jobs are 50% less likely to get jobs with they have a black sounding that, name. That, that's not even close that to being true. That's not even that close to accurate. being true. That like, is a literal. Like, that, in fact, it's yes, the opposite. Is, I'm not gonna de argue your oh. lived experience. I'm not gonna, no. no. See, now I'm you not, have to listen to him under your rules because course. a black person is gonna I say am, you're wrong. I am, he can say I'm wrong. I've, I know I Come on up your, to the mic. I know I read, I read your... I, my name is Kimon Dixon. I have a really black name. Please no. tell me how 50% of my internships have been denied when I've worked for Senator Mike Lee, Mayor Trent Sachs, Speaker okay. Mike Schultz. Hold on. I've worked for a this congressman, good. Burgess Owens. I've actually worked on his campaign. I've worked on the campaigns of John Huntsman Jr. Please tell me how my black experience and my black man has not given me shit. Go ahead. Okay. So, you create a company that's like like close to being a fascist and then like okay. how am i sorry let, let's go through this how am i a fascist <laughs> dude like you can, you can you name one thing i believe that's fascist um you believe that like you are <sighs> no boy. No boy. No boy. Let him think. Let but him. i'm I such a okay. bad fascist i let the people who disagree just, in open mic to talk to me for two hours uninterrupted just, okay i'm right. an awful fascist <laughs> I'm more like a free speech liberal the 1970s, not a fascist. But I just want to say Turning Point USA is a evil company that was funded by thousands of fracking companies and that well, just... You no, know, it's not thousands, but we do have some frackers that give us money. But we Yeah, have, and then we, we all, have, all it is is making the rich from more fascist. rich. Fascism to fracking. That's but, all it is. That's all it is. Okay, again, I'm happy to have a debate. I can see you're getting kind of fired up. I'm sorry. So, but what, why why are we evil? Like, we're, we're having a nice discussion. Because all of a sudden, you you're, I you're calling me like Because a it seems like you just want the rich get even more rich. Like, we, we haven't talked about the rich at all. I mean, so do you, you don't even know my positions on this stuff at all. The wealthiest people absent Elon Musk are all on the left. Jeff Bezos, George Soros, Mark Benioff, Mark Elon Zuckerberg, on the Lorraine Powell Jobs. On the left, yes. Expl can you name one tech CEO outside of Elon Musk that is a conservative? Um, I personally think. Let me think. Peter Thiel. Yeah, that's one. That's one. Um, Larry Page, Google, on the left, worth 120 billion dollars. Sergey Brin, Google, 130 billion dollars on the left. If, Lorraine, okay. Lorraine if Powell Jobs, Mackenzie Bezos, Jeff Bezos. If they're on the left, what has they done that was like quote unquote to do the left stuff. Well, okay, so Larry Page gives money to left-wing NGOs all the time. Like, if you're on the left, I don't think you will ever be this rich. Well, they are. You know why? Because the but left because is, they're not. No, no because the they're not. The left is a scam. The left uses How is this scam? Let me tell you why. It's a good question, actually. The left uses people like you that think that, oh, we're going to fight the rich. Well, they protect their oligarchy. While you guys have to keep on working hard and never own anything, when we conservatives are the ones that actually want to restore the American middle class and bring jobs back to this country. How would you restore? Hold, let me finish. Let me finish. The, the left uses people like you every day. Who is funding? Dude, I have never seen okay. a leftist... Okay. Okay. Organization come to campus spreading their propagandas. Well, because the whole university is, is a leftist organization. No, it's spreading not. Propaganda. It's liberal. Left. There's a there yeah, is but, a clear cut difference but, between but a it, leftist and a liberal. Please you're, make you're that You're coming right. after this in a good way because every major powerful wealthy person in the country 
over $100 billion in net worth, with the exception of one person, Elon Musk, is on the cultural left and gives money to the left. And you guys give them a free pass because you think that we're fascists when in reality, we're the ones that are actually fighting to destroy the oligarchy the most. All right, last question. Last point, yeah. last question. Um, let's say, so you do want to fight for the American middle class and that, that's how, my, yes. Okay, that's how, my whole, how, how does free, freer the market like helps with the well, middle again, class? Again, I, I want, I want precision in free markets, but I, how I want, does, I, how does free market support the middle again, class? Again, I'm not puritanical, but I think that generally more choices are a good thing. I think that generally supporting entrepreneurs is positive, but I, I think that Mass immigration is really bad for American workers. There's no mass immigration. Well, well first of all, how many people are... Wow. Uh, like... Well, you're right. What, there is mass, mass invasion. But um, but how, how many people are coming across the southern border every day? I don't know, but like... No, no, I'm not... actually generally curious. Can you guess? Okay. Um, on what time frame? Every day. Every day? 500? Yeah. It's, it's at its low point, it's at 10,000 right now. It was 15,000 last month. So what is that annualized? Let's play that out. A lot. Yeah, that's a lot. Yeah. So that's mass immigration, right? How many green cards do we give out every year? Oh, probably a lot. Yeah, a lot. About yeah. 1.2 million, well, right? What's wrong with giving out green cards? I'm not saying they wrong. No, you okay. said there's no mass migration. So I'm just okay. trying to tell you, we do have mass migration, right? Okay. We have 3 million on the southern border, and then we have a million green cards, mm -hmm. right? That's 4 million a year. Right, which is effect basically bigger than most U.S. states. Now, everything comes with a cost. When you have mass migration, you're going to get lower wages. True. But that means you're going to disenfranchise American workers. What are you studying? Computer science? Yeah, I am. Okay, so you're an American born, I'm guessing, American raised. I don't, I don't want to. I wasn't, but okay, I moved to the U.S. Okay, well, you're an American now, I guess. I don't know, maybe. Yeah, or you're I am. Student visa. Okay, you're going to ha now have to compete. Uh, you're kind of proving my point, but that's a separate issue. You're now going to have to compete against foreign labor for your computer science jobs. I think we have a moral obligation to American-born workers to give them preference and priority and restrict the labor supply so that our computer science majors can have higher wages, not Do to I have was, suppressed yeah. wages so some tech CEO can uh, bring in a bunch of Indians and suppress their, no, not against Indians, but just you know bring down their wages. Personally, I just think that like if you came to America and then receive a green card, I think you get you get to work however you want. Like, okay, I, yeah, think, I, I think, think that American-born citizens should be And then there be shouldn't given... be a priority because they're American citizens. Well, that, that's, as long what, as you're that's where we're different. Citizen. I actually think you must have a priority to your own citizens or else you don't have a hmm. government. You have something else. If you don't have a priority to your own people, I don't know what you have. You have a colony, not a country. You're just a big economy. Mm -hmm. and, that, that, and that's fine if that's your <laughs> position. By the way, your position is held by the ruling elite where I think that we should have a country, not just a colony, where the American-born citizens should be given preference over foreigners. Nothing against foreigners, I think they're nice people, but the Americans should be given first preference. And by the way, any sane country believes that. We're like the only country in the world that says, and certain European countries, come on in and take whatever you want. Okay, this, this was serious, this was heated, this was an amazing talk, you guys. The entire video was good, guys. <clears throat> this last guy right here, it's it's very, very important that we check the borders. Like, we have to control, we have to regulate it. Because if we continue this same way in 5, 10 years, it's going to hit us hard. When we have mass migration, guys, we have lower wages. It's very serious because people who are migrating to the U.S., it's alarming. When I check the stats myself, I saw 10,000, guys, every single day. It is massive. It is really massive. So if we do not control it right now, in five, ten years from now, guys, lower wages, it's it's gonna hit America as never before, guys. It's going to be really serious. And the inflation we're having now, it's <laughs> it's it's going to be terrible, guys. It's gonna be terrible. But I say that um this entire video was actually amazing to watch, guys. I love how Charlie crushed the terrorist smokes today. For understand, we talked about um college is scam. Um, Charlie gave him the reason why college is, is a scam. He was trying to underestimate Charlie and mess with Charlie's intelligence, making Charlie feel like he's stupid. But Charlie was trying to <laughs> overshadow him and say, that, don't play with my intelligence right here. I'm a really clever man. I'm a really smart man. With or without college, I am smart. I, I, know, I know what I'm all about. Charlie started 
20 points US at the age of 18, guys. This is 10 years he has been into this. It is really massive. For someone who drop out of community college and start 20 points USA, it's a very big achievement. It's really massive. If you guys are not seeing it, I am saying that it's really massive. Then the first guy who came here, I'm sorry, talking about also college discount. Is also very, very important because if you think about it, we all know that people who go to um who study um medicine, um engineering, uh, law. The population are very, very small. It's not as people who do like other courses. You understand? Like psychology, there are not as many people who do psychology. People who do psychology are many and some other courses too. If you calculate it, you know that there are not as many. And stat stat statistics, let's go to stats, shows that 41% of people who go to college are dropping out. That is a big margin. Why did they drop out? Number one, it's because they lost interest in school. Number two, it's because they could not afford college anymore. That that is check check stats. They could not afford college anymore. And when you see you watch college, like see people who are going to college, you see, you notice some of them are basically not going because they want to go. They're just going because they feel like everyone is going. They're just falling along. But if you have passion to be a lawyer, to be a doctor, to be a engineer, something that will create massive impact into the world um, by your school, go for it. I'm not saying you should not go for it, but what challenge can you say that? College itself is ripping people off of what's number one, that time, number two, that money. The time they should put in something else and get something much better. And number two, that, that resources that put into college. College is not cheap. College is freaking expensive. <laughs> it's very, very expensive. They're all to the that people take loan. And after their college, they keep on paying the loan. Months after months, year after year, they keep on paying their loan. It's it's really, really serious. So this was an amazing video. I love how Charlie crushed the students out because they were trying to like undermine Charlie and seeing what Charlie was saying was actually terrible, bad. And Charlie was talking out of points and he's an uneducated man. They were messing with his intelligence. And Charlie was like, no, I know what I'm talking about. I'm a very intelligent man, even without going to college. Um, the, the last guy was like, um, what did the last guy say again? Um, he said, Tony Point USA is an evil company. That is a very hurtful word to use and I never support what that guy said. That is a very terrible word to use. Mm -hmm. Turning Point USA has created massive impact in the world we are living in. In USA, in particular, in USA, you guys have to admit that. Because Turning Point USA, one thing I love about it is that they speak out the truth. It is raw. It is the truth. Like, they don't hide. They don't filter anything. They say it as it is. And they bring it to the general public to see. Millions of people are watching Charlie's video every day. I'm watching it. I'm following him on IG. It's very, very serious. Because I am keeping myself updated with the reality of things in the world. That the media, public media, are trying to cover up from us. It's, it's, it's really, really serious. And Charlie opens your eyes to see what is really happening in the US in particular. About the transgender, the, um, the border, mass um, immigration about what is really happening, about politics in particular. Politics, he simplifies politics for me to see. Also, CRT, critical race theory, I, I fully understand much better because of Charlie. It's, it, Tony Points USA is a very, very important company in, in America. It's really, really important, guys. Uh, comment down below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up, share this video to as many as can, subscribe to China, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just bought a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku bitch, in my bed. I got scales all